Good morning, guys. My name is Suzanne Grandy. I'm a certified master groomer in Tampa, Florida, and I am going to be grooming Dem Tesse today. This is a tiny, tiny little Yorkie. She is about a year old, and she is going to get uh, trimmed shorter, but not too short. So let's get busy. You ready, Dem? Yes, yeah, a good girl. It's a little chilly outside, so she's a little cold this morning. I've got the heater on. So by the time she gets in the bathtub, it should be nicely warmed up here. Right, baby? All right. So first thing I'm going to do is use a 30 blade on the pads of her feet. It's okay, baby. Oh, it's a good puppy. You're all right. And now for the tips of her ears, I am using a 15 blade. Going to go from the center of the ear straight up, center of the ear out, center of the ear out. Center up, center out, center out. Now we're going to do the inside of the ears the same way. I'm doing about a third of the ear. Come here, baby. All right, center up, center out, center out. Center up, center out, center out. around the eyes. I am doing just the corners of the eye. Just a tiny bit. So that she doesn't have hair poking up into her eyes. And on a tin blade, just coming straight up the middle of the belly with a very light touch. You ready for a bath? She says, no, I don't want a bath. Cause it's a tiny little orchid, doesn't want a bath. No. So in my tub, I have a paw mat. This keeps it nice and quiet and soft under her feet. Let the water warm up for her. Bathwater warm? Not yet. It's still warming. So while the water water's warming up, she's got a bit of a greasy texture to her coat. So I'm going to use the close, open close method on her. How we do that is we use conditioner on the dog first and wet them down with conditioner. I like using the paw mat in the tub because dogs don't like anything slippery, scratchy sounding, noisy under their feet at all. And many tubs are too slick in the bottom or the surfaces like this raised platform I have would make scratchy sounds with the toenails. This does not, it's quiet. Dogs like that. Especially little dogs who can tend to be a little on the nervous side. Like itty bitty Yorkies. Yeah. So when I use the close open close method, I saturate the entire dog with conditioner. Wow. 
Then after that, I saturate the dog with shampoo without rinsing off the conditioner. I am using iGrum prebiotic products on her. That is the only shampoo brand that I use in the salon. You can find them at iGrum.com. I'm not affiliated with them. I simply love their products. And one thing you'll notice when you use this method is the shampoo doesn't really lather too much when it mixes into the strong conditioner, but that's okay. You'll be amazed at how, how good it cleans. You wanna be very, very careful every time you wash your dog, whether the products say they're tearless or not, you want to be careful not to get any shampoo in the eyes. And if you do, put your water on really, really low and open that eye up and rinse it out real good. I see far too many YouTube groomers spraying shampoo right in the dog's eyes. And I'm really bothered by that. I wouldn't want shampoo in my own eyes and I wouldn't want shampoo in a puppy's eyes. And Dim here is full grown. She's just itty bitty. All right, so now we're gonna rinse the whole thing. I'm gonna make sure the water's nice and warm. And again, don't be alarmed if you don't see suds, it's okay. I like the water on the dog for rinsing and wetting about the same temperature. I would like to find a baby bottle ready to give to a baby. So I check it on this part of my arm, make sure it's not too warm, not too cool. Now I'm going to condition her one more time. This video will be put up completely unedited. And you can also watch my daily live grooming from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I groom completely live, no edits whatsoever. What you see is exactly what happens in the salon. And if you have questions, every Sunday evening at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I have Ask a Groomer Live where you can ask questions or just talk and um, join in the chat. On our daily live grooming, we have the nicest chat grooming, chat community out there um, where you can make friends who love dogs and who love to groom dogs. check out our Ask a Groomer Facebook group where we try to all support each other. It's a private Facebook group. Thank <laughs> you. 
I respect both people who are professional drummers and home drummers. So we can all do better caring for pets. Because it's about these little guys. We all want to take care of them. Now I'm using Vetoquinol Ear Cleansing Solution. Just fill up the ear canal on each side. And let the puppy shake it out of her head. There we go. And wrap her up in a towel. Now we have a Yorkie Pupperito. Get her all nice and warm in here. We all like to wrap up in a nice warm towel after a bath, right? And I am spraying out the tub with barbicide. Put the palm mats up to drip dry. I double layer them for a little extra cushion under my puppy's feet. Let's go dry down. Look at those little eyes. She's so cute. So, so cute. quite wiggly. I'm going to put her on the groomer's harness to keep her safe on the table. Sometimes when these little guys get so squirmy, you need something for safety, so I'm adjusting it so it goes around her little tiny rib cage. I try to adjust these groomer's harnesses to just the right size before I put it on by picturing how big around the rib cage would be. And then tighten it up here. And I'm gonna adjust it with the Grimmer's Harness Adjuster.
dry. I'm using a Mason Pearson brush. all dry. Now I'm going to use a nail grinding tool if she'll allow me. Do her little tiny nails. Good girl. Good puppy. You're all right. You're all right, baby. Yes. And do this one. Good girl. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good 
This isn't their favorite thing. Don't fight me. Don't fight me, Dana. There we go. Going to start with trimming around her eyes. So I combed everything forward and just trim around. Is around the edge of the ears, resting the finger on my, <laughs> resting the scissor on my finger. It's early, guys. I started her at 7 a.m. Going to scissor around her feet. Good puppy. Now that the blow dryer's off, I think I can take the harness off. I prefer to allow my dogs to be as free as possible on the table. You can see that close, open, close method made her hair very light and fluffy, very clean. We do not allow her hair to grow long, per her owner's request. So I'm trimming all around the edges.
am trimming under her tail using a Schoenbeo digital clipper with a seven blade. All right. So I round her face with a medium long beard. And now to keep this hair looking healthy with her coat type, she gets rather frayed on the ends. I'm going to pull it up between my fingers and snip off the top. I'm trying to get it the same length all the way down. I love it when Yorkies shake their heads as I'm trimming. When they do, I trim the hair right where it ends up laying. Because once they shake their head, they obviously become very messy. So I trim the hair right where it lies after the shake. Now I'm going to take my comb, comb the hair up, and match it, what I'm pulling up, with what I trimmed on the top of the back. That's a good girl, Tim. Comb it all back down, it should look nice. If anything doesn't, I'm going to pull it back up. And even it. There we go. That's better.
stay baby. Right there. At first, they don't understand what you're trying to do and they may not stand still or they may be oppositional. But don't let that discourage you. Just keep asking for it. And eventually they'll understand that this is what you expect of them. Once they understand, then they're very willing. Most often when a dog is oppositional, it's because they don't understand. It's not in their normal routine. As long as you make something routine for a dog and you're patient and kind, they become willing. Now I'm just going to go all around the edges and neaten her up. Make sure everything looks good. With this type of haircut, what I typically do with the tail, because as you can see, it kind of curls up, is I'll take this black part and I'll actually make the black part shorter. I'm using 46 tooth or 48 tooth thinning shears. I'm just bringing the black up, trimming it. And that way, when they run around the house or walk down the street, this little red part comes up and it kind of looks like a little deer tail. The way it flares out, and I like that. what I'm doing. Good girl, Dan. You're just fine. So now I'm going to use iGroom silicone free leave-on conditioner and I'm going to lightly mist over her. Comb it all into place. So her pet parent does not like a bow on her. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't put a bow on her if she were mine either. With this shorter haircut and um, the thinner hair on top of her head, it would seem to me that a bow would be uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do instead is make her a little neck bow. 
My regular neck bows are a little too big for a tiny dog like this. So I'm gonna custom make her one. It'll fit her. So she shook again and I'm going to trim this hair right where it lies again. Because you know as soon as they shake at home, they're gonna look all messy. And if you trim the hair right where it lies, there's less likelihood that it's going to look bad. make her a cute little bow. Good girl down. So we're going to come over here to my bow making station. So this is 5 8 inch stretch elastic. It's really good for neck bows and bandanas because it won't affect their trachea. I'm estimating she's got an 8 inch neck. Going to use a cute little pre-made flower. Take my glue gun, put some glue on the stretch elastic, and bring it around into a collar. And then right where the sections meet, I'm going to put my cute little bow. So it makes a really cute stretch collar. And while that glue is setting up, I'm going to clean off my table. And watching her run around on the floor, I could see that there was some hair out of place here. So I'm going to fix that. Some on this side. So I'm going to check the beard from the sides. Make 
make sure it looks good all the way around. There we go. And now we're going to put our cute little 8 inch bow on. And it's a perfect fit. Make sure everything is perfect. There she is. There's Dim Tessie. She's a good girl. Hi, Dim. Say goodbye to everybody. She says I'm just a silly little girl. She's so cute. All right, guys. That is it for our tiny little Yorkie. We'll see you next time. Bye.